Now, I know some of you say, well, God didn't say that. Well, it doesn't say in the Bible everything God told you. Right. Everything God told him was is not in the Bible. Well, Eve said that he said that, so I'm assuming that's true. Yes. She had not learned how to lie to him. That's because she hadn't taken the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. She only knew good up to that that's point. That's right. So she was yeah. still doing good. Yeah. So I don't believe she was lying, okay? Then you know God says don't even touch a thing. Touch not the unseen thing. That's right. The Word says that. Yes, it does. And God never changes. So I believe God told him that. When, when, to be said that. I believe God told yes. him, don't even look at, don't even touch. You know, we're not even to, to look upon things that are unrighteous. Right. We're not even to touch things that are unclean. Right. They'll cause us to get into sin. Jesus said, Jesus said, if your hand offends you. Now the word offend there means entice you to sin. That's what the word offend means. Yes. It means entice you to sin. In other words, if you, anything in your life, if your hand offends you, cut it off. He said, it's better to go to heaven with one left one arm than to go to hell. That's right. With both your arms. He said, if, if your eye offends you, pluck it out. In other words, if whatever in your life, even no matter how dear it seems to you, if it's going to entice you to sin, you need to cut it yeah. off of your life. You need to pluck it out of your life. You need to get rid of it because it will send you to hell. And God doesn't want you to go to hell. God wants you to go to heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants to deliver you from hell. It's His grace yeah. that wants to deliver you and set you free from hell. He's a deliverer. Yes, He is. Hallelujah. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And then the next verse says, For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world. Now, the condemn doesn't mean feel guilty. It means, it means execute judgment. Yes. Jesus didn't come to destroy people, to execute judgment upon people. He came to save them. He came to deliver them from their sin. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Save means deliver. Yes. Save means deliver. Jesus came to deliver us from sin. The angel of the Lord appeared to, to uh, Joseph, the, the earthly father of Jesus. He appeared to him because he was concerned that his bride to be was pregnant. And so he was going to put her away privately. He was going to go in. Back then, if you were betrothed, it was legally binding. So he would have to like put her away, like get divorce, divorce her, even though they weren't actually married yet. He was going to put her away privately because he didn't want to put her to shame. But the, God appeared to him in a dream. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Be not afraid to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is in her is of the Holy Ghost. That's yeah. not a man. That's not another man. Yeah. It's the Holy Ghost, the seed of God. Yeah. And he will be called a man. He, you'll call his name Jesus, for he shall say, yeah. deliver, he say deliver people. people. Hallelujah. Jesus oh. came to deliver people from their sins, but it only happens through true repentance. You have to truly repent of your sins. That means turn Believe away from your Lord. sins and Amen. turn to God. Amen. When you truly repent, then God will deliver you from your yes, sins. Yes, He will. Hallelujah. Every time. Amen. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Now look with me over at uh, Matthew chapter 4. Start at verse 12. Thank you, Lord. When you get there, tell me. I'm there. Thank you, Lord. Now, this is right before Jesus entered his ministry. Jesus, he went to, Jesus was 30 years old. John the Baptist was his second cousin. His, their parents were cousins. And he went, he went to John the Baptist. He was 30 years old. He had never performed a miracle up to this point. How do I know? Because the Bible says the first miracle he did was after this. That's right. The very first miracle he did was once he started his ministry. Yeah. And he came, and John the Baptist, he was a prophet of God, and he was he was anointed with the Holy Ghost from his mother while he was still in his mother's womb. Yeah. And and God he was using John the Baptist, and people were like, see, he was pre, he was preparing the way of the Lord. He was preaching the baptism or immersion of repentance. 
And what he was teaching was when you went down to the water, he was teaching your old man of sin was dead and buried. It's all about Jesus. Yes. It was all about setting the stage for what Jesus would do. That's right. The old man of sin was dead and buried in the grave. You raised up together with him in newness of life. Hey. So John the Baptist was preparing the way of, of the Lord Jesus. And he knew who Jesus was. He was his second cousin. But he also knew that he was Lord. He also knew that he... Now, his mother, when Mary came, when Mary just got pregnant with Jesus by the Holy Ghost, and Elizabeth was six months pregnant. God supernaturally did that because she was barren before that. But she was six months pregnant with John the Baptist. When, when Mary came in, the Holy Ghost, <laughs> with that baby inside her son, leaped. Her baby leaped in her belly. And all of a sudden, the Holy Ghost filled her and she began to prophesy. And she said, the mother of my Lord is coming to me. Elizabeth, yes. Yeah. Elizabeth said that. Yeah. Why is it, this, has the mother of my Lord come unto me? Hallelujah. And that thing which you have believed, that thing which you have spoken by faith. You think when the angel spoke to Mary, Mary said, how can this thing be since I've never known a man? He said, the Spirit of God will come upon you and that which is born of you will be holy will be called the Son of God. Hallelujah. And she said, Be it unto me, as you have said. So she spoke out in faith. Yes. What God said to her by yes. an angel. Yes. And she said, Be it unto me, as you have said. And she went to Elizabeth. And, and as soon as she walked in, Elizabeth began to prophesy by the Holy Spirit. It was then John the Baptist. It was in her belly. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. Isn't that neat? Hallelujah. Thank and you. And so John the Baptist was preparing the way of the Lord. And then Jesus, he went to John the Baptist and he said, Baptize me. And he said, I need to be baptized by you, not you me. But he said, No, this all things must be fulfilled. All righteousness must be fulfilled. No, and what he was saying is under the old covenant, there were certain ceremonial things that had to be fulfilled for a sacrifice. Yes. And Jesus was going to be the ultimate sacrifice yes, yes. of God. All the sacrifices before that was all pointing to Jesus. That's right. It was all about what Jesus would come and do. Amen. All the ceremonial things, all of the feasts and festivals, they were all pointing to Jesus, yes, what Jesus yes. would come and do. And he came as the Lamb of God. Amen. He gave his life for the sins of the whole world. Not just some. He came not only for some people, but from all the people that lived from the beginning till the end. Jesus died. He paid the price. Yes. He bare our sin. Thank Every person in his own body on the tree. So we can be dead to sin. But he also knew that as soon as sin came upon him, came in him, that he would be separated from Father God. Right. Because the wages of sin is spiritual death and separation from God. And Adam, Adam passed on spiritual death to all of mankind. But Jesus came to pass on spiritual life to yes. reconcile men back to God. Come on. And away Get from right. that old sinful nature. Right. Jesus came to deliver us from our old sinful nature and let us walk yes. in newness of life. Yes. We can be who God called us to right. be, but we have to do it through the blood of Ooh. Jesus. It's yes. the blood of Jesus. That's the only it's the Thank blood of Lord. Jesus. There is no other name under heaven by which a man may be saved, but by the name of Jesus. It's Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Thank and so Lord. Jesus went let, Thank let him baptize him. Glory. And then Jesus went, went was led by the Holy Well, he was baptized, and the Holy Ghost came upon Jesus like a dove. And then he went about being led by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit led him to the wilderness. And he fasted and prayed for 40 days. Now fast and tea means he didn't eat. He still drank something. Because your body, you know, your body's going to live a long time without food. They can't live very long without water. So he still drank, and he fasted food for 40 days. That's right. For 40 nights. Amen. At the end of that time, the devil came and tempted him. He came and tried to get him to get into sin. He tried to get him to kill himself. And finally, he said, the devil said, well, why don't you just, he took him up to the highest point of the temple. He said, jump off, for the scriptures say, God will give his angels charge over you, lest you dash your foot against you. He said, the devil uses scripture. He'll try to use scripture to destroy you. He did that with Adam and Eve. But finally, they did, they did submit to the devil. And they were separated from God right then. Right. But that separation continued to all of mankind until Jesus came. Right. 
to tell Jesus, and he came to reconcile man back yes. to God. He came to reconcile you back to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Then he gave us the ministry of reconciliation for us to share this with 